Welcome to Washington, D.C. in a snowstorm. It's always quite majestic. Um, but you know, we've been warning about this very snow for about five days. And yeah, of course, the long-term computer models showed it way before that. In fact, in our little weather circle, because we're all nerds, we talk about it for weeks in advance. Did you guys see the GFS? Ooh. But we know that forecast is going to change a lot in those two weeks, so we don't share it. Although, I mean, given the people doing this here, they wanted to know they could cross-country ski in D.C. so we can look at the pattern far out, but we're not going to give specifics. Unfortunately, social media has given the ability to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that think they know weather. Yeah, yeah they, they don't. don't. These people are posting snow total forecasts weeks in advance down to the decimal point. Let me let you in on something. Seriously. That's always gonna be wrong. Like, that's not how forecasting works. And this nonsense is making good forecasts from great meteorologists look bad. Come on. Come on. <laughs> My mentor, James Spann, just had this happen. So he's in Birmingham, Alabama, and there was some dude on TikTok that was getting nine million views. Nine million views? Like, I can't even get a million views unless it's a sloth or an elephant. Those went kind of well. But anyway, he had nine million views on this post two weeks before this storm saying that the southeast was gonna get interesting, alluding to some big snowstorm. Not a problem unless you are the people that contacted James saying because of that TikTok, they postponed elective surgeries or got rid of a trip that their family was really looking forward to. This bad info, it's everywhere. Or take this one that was even more egregious because this guy or gal, I don't know, said that the Northeast before Christmas, when everybody's wanting a white Christmas, was gonna get 30 to 40 inches. So two weeks in advance, they're trying to call a snowstorm like that. Lo and behold, we didn't get it. We had like two and a half inches in New York City before Christmas. Nice, but not three feet. So you're three feet off. Now listen. I'm not saying that long-term trends in temperature aren't really helpful, and we've gotten really good. Those things should be talked about. But when it comes to specifics in a storm like this, one little bump of a storm track by 10, 15 miles can mean the difference between a thunderstorm or sleet or even six inches of snow. So with something like this, I'd wait till you'll see a forecast within five days to really get excited about it. If I had a nickel for every time somebody tells me that hilarious joke like, hey, it must be nice to have a job where you can be wrong 50% of the time and still get paid, uh, that's wrong. So uh, generally a forecast seven days out is 80% accurate. Five days out, 90% accurate. But to get down to the decimal point for a snowstorm two weeks before it, Nah, we're not there yet, not even close. Our forecasts run on observations throughout the atmosphere, taken by balloons, taken on the ground. They're from satellites, from radars, and then all that info is plugged into computer modeling. Now, we're seeing huge advances in computer modeling with AI, and we'll keep advancing how we take observations. The technology is always getting better, so it's really quite exciting. But until that all happens, probably best bet is just stick with a meteorologist you trust. Local meteorologist, the National Weather Service, a credible source. No more spiraling with these yahoos on the internet.